good morning students today our topic is reciprocal equations a polynomial equation a n x power n plus a n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus etc plus a 1 x plus a naught is equal to 0 this equation is a reciprocal equation if and only if one of the following two statement is true that is the first one a n is equal to a naught that is a n is the uh, coefficient of x power n and a naught is the co constant so a n is the coefficient of the first term and a naught is the coefficient of the last term so a n is equal to a naught and the next term a n minus 1 is equal to a 1 a n minus 2 is equal to a 2 etc otherwise a n is equal to minus a naught a n minus 1 is equal to minus a 1 a n minus 2 is equal to minus a 2 if any two of the statement is true so the polynomial equation is called the reciprocal equation so uh, reciprocal equations of type 1 that means in which and the equation la, the coefficients from the beginning are equal to the coefficients from the end so the coefficients from the beginning or equal to the coefficients from the end you will see the example 6 x power 5 a plus x power 4 minus 43 x cube minus 43 x squared plus x plus 6 is equal to 0 you see that so the first term coefficient is 6 and the last term also 6 and here the coefficient of x power 4 the second term coefficient is 1 so the last before term coefficient also 1 so the coefficient of x is 1 and you see here minus 43 here also for minus 43 so the coefficients from the beginning and the coefficients from the end if they are equal it is the reciprocal equation of first type that only we have given here a n is the first coefficient and a naught is the last coefficient a n minus 1 is the coefficient of the second term and a 1 is the coefficient of the last before term like that it goes on it's a reciprocal equation of type 1 and you see that the second one reciprocal equation of type 2 correspond to those in which the coefficients from the beginning are equal in magnitude to the coefficients from the end but in opposite in sign so magnitude wise they are equal which are equal coefficients from the beginning and the coefficients from the end they are equal but in opposite sign so one is plus now another one is minus if you have like that that is the reciprocal of reciprocal equation of type 2 you see 6 per x power 5 minus 41 x power 4 plus 97 x cube minus 97 x squared plus 41 x minus 6 is equal to 0 you look at this the coefficients from the beginning is 6 and the last is minus 6 so 6 6 is there but on the here it is plus 6 here you are having minus 6 and the same way minus 41 here you are having plus 41 here plus 97 and minus 97 in magnitude wise they are equal but they are in the opposite side if you have like this a n is equal to minus a naught and a n minus 1 is equal to minus a 1 a n minus 2 is equal to minus a 2 it is called the equation the polynomial equation is called the reciprocal equation of type 2 okay so see now after identifying this is the type 1 and this type 2 you have to look at you the degree of the equation okay you see that first reciprocal equation of type 1 what is type 1 the coefficient from the beginning and the coefficients from the end they are equal so in the type 1 equation la, odd degree irindadana. if the reciprocal equation of type 1 whose degree is odd okay so x equal to minus 1 must be the solution okay type 1 equation la, odd degree irindadana. x equal to minus 1 must be a solution if it is a even degree what is that type 1 even degree equation means we have to take we have to arrange the equation and bring it in the form of x plus 1 or x minus 1 
okay so that has to be taken as y and we have to proceed while doing the problem we can see that so now reciprocal equation of type 2 okay so if it is odd degree means x equal to 1 must be the solution okay and even degree means x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 or solution on the middle term should be 0 so using this result we are going to do the problem okay you see x is 3.5 fifth term fifth problem first subdivision solve the equation 6x power 4 minus 35x cube plus 62x square minus 35x plus 6 is equal to 0 and look at the equation here the first term coefficient is 6 and the last term also 6 here minus 35 here also minus 35 so middle term is there okay so this is the uh, equation of first type even degree reciprocal equation this equation is type 1 even degree because the highest uh, one the equation the polynomial equation degree is 4 so it is a even degree of the even degree reciprocal equation you see that it's a type 1 even degree means we have to arrange and bring it in the form of x plus 1 by x and x minus 1 by x either any one you have to bring it so i'll take the equation and divided by x squared so it will become 6x squared minus 35 x cube by x squared is x plus 62 x squared by x squared is 62 minus 35 x by x squared is 35 by x plus 6 by x squared is equal to 0. You consider the first term and the last term because the coefficients are equal. So therefore 6 is taken out. Our first term it is x squared and the last term you will have 1 by x squared. So from the second term and the last before term if you combine these two so minus 35 will be there. So minus 35 if you take it out here you are having x here you are having 1 by x minus 35 is taken out and the remaining term is plus 62 is equal to 0. We brought the equation in terms of x plus y. Now what you have to do this x plus 1 by x has to be uh, taken as y. Upon what is x squared plus 1 by x squared? For that you have to squaring on both the sides. So y squared is equal to x plus 1 by x the whole squared. So it is in the form of a plus b the whole squared. So it is expanding a squared plus b squared that is 1 by x squared plus 2ab 2 into x into 1 by x upper your answer here it is 2 so this 2 you bring it to the left side so it is y squared minus 2 is equal to x squared plus 1 by x squared go to the equation so here 6 into so instead of that what you can write y squared minus 2 so it is substituted here minus 35 into what is this it is nothing but y plus 62 is equal to 0 so when you expand 6x squared minus 12 minus 35y plus 62 is equal to 0 so 6y squared minus 35y minus 12 plus 62 is 50 is equal to 0 so it is a quadratic equation in terms of y so you have to factorize so see now 6 into 50 what is it 300 and the addition of the two terms should be minus 35 so i'll take minus 15 minus 20 and here you are having the coefficient 6 so when it is divided by uh, 6 so minus 15 by 6 so it is minus 5 by 2 okay minus 5 by 2 so denominator is 2 so it is 2 by minus 5 so here i have written 2y minus 5 and this also can be divided by 2 so minus 10 in the numerator and denominator 3 so 3y minus 10 so 3y minus 10 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 10 by 3 so consider the first y y is equal to 5 by 2 so what is y what we have taken as y so y is equal to x plus 1 by x so x plus 1 by x is equal to 5 by 2 so you have to take lcm so x squared plus 1 by x is equal to 5 by 2 cross multiply 2x squared plus 2 is equal to 5x bring this 5x to the left side so it is 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 2 2s are 4 so here you are having the product is 
4 and the addition of 2 numbers is minus 5. So, I will take the numbers minus 1, minus 4. What is that? Minus 1, minus 4. And here the coefficient of x squared is 2. So, when it is divided by 2, you will get minus 1 by 2, minus 4 by 2. So, this can be written as 2x minus 1. And if you cancel with 2, the numerator you have in minus 2. So, it is x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, therefore, you are getting x is equal to 1 by 2. How we are getting x is equal to 1 by 2? When you equate 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 by 2. Next, x minus 2 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 2. You consider the next to y. y is equal to 10 by 3. In the place of y, what you have to substitute? x plus 1 by x. That is equal to 10 by 3. So, when you take LCM, x squared plus 1 by x is equal to 10 by 3. Next, you have to cross multiply. So, here 3 into x squared plus 1. So, it is 3x square plus 3 is equal to. So, 10 into x that is 10x. Bring the 10x to the left side minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, again it is a quadratic equation in terms of x. So, uh, 3 3 is on 9. So, the product is 9 and the addition of the two numbers is minus 10. So, I will go for which are what are the numbers. So, the numbers is minus 1 and minus 9. So, here the coefficient is 3. So, when it is divided by 3, you will have minus 1 by 3 minus 9 by 3. So, minus 1 by 3, how you can write 3x minus 1. Here, 3 and minus 9 getting cancelled. The numerator having minus 3. So, therefore, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1 by 3. When you equate, this is equal to 0. x is equal to 1 by 3 x minus 3 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 3. So, you are getting the 4 roots. So, reciprocal equation of first type even degree means you have to proceed like this. Okay, coming to the second subdivision. x power 4 plus 3x cube minus 3x minus 1. First look at the coefficient. So, the first coefficient is 1. Here the last one is minus 1. So, the number magnitude wise they are same but in the opposite side. But here you see the second term coefficient is 3. The last before term coefficient is minus 3. So, the coefficients magnitude they are equal. The coefficients from the beginning and the coefficients from the end they are equal in magnitude but in opposite sign. So, therefore this equation is a reciprocal equation of type 2. What degree? Given degree. So, see now, it is a reciprocal equation of type 2 even degree and the middle term is 0 means x equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 or the solution. So, we know that directly. So, this equation is type 2 even degree reciprocal equation. So, therefore, x equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 or solution of the above equation. So, x equal to minus 1, the factor is x plus 1. Here, x equal to 1 means the factor is x minus 1. So, you take the pro product of their factor is x squared minus 1. So, get the remaining factor. So, this um, polynomial has to be divided by the x squared minus 1. So, therefore, you can use either long division or a synthetic division. Here, I have used the long division. So, x power 4 plus 3x cube minus 3x minus 1. It is divided by x squared minus 1. So, see that here you are having x power 4. So, here x squared. So, we have to multiply with x squared. So, x squared into x squared is x power 4. x squared into minus 1 is minus x square. So, if you change a sign, these two getting cancelled. This is x square term and this is x cube term. So, drop that 3x cube and plus x square and drop the x term minus 3x. So, here plus, so plus 3x. If you multiply with x square, it is 3x cube. 3x into minus 1 is minus 3x. If you change a sign, these two getting cancelled. This is uh, x square term and here you are having x term. So, plus x square you have to write as it is and here plus 3x here you are having minus 3x both getting cancelled. What is left of the constant? It just brought the constant down. So, x square minus 1. 
so here you have to write plus 1 so plus 1 into x squared is x squared 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 if you change the sign it will become 0 so the remaining factor is x squared plus 3x plus 1 so when you equate to 0 you will get a quadratic equation uh, okay in terms of x so you have to use the formula what is the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac so your b is 3 so here minus b is minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square is what 9 9 minus 4 into a coefficient also 1 and c also 1 so 9 minus 4 that is root 5 so already we have said it's a reciprocal equation of type 2 even degree so therefore x equal to plus or minus 1 or the roots and you have found x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 5 by 2 okay so we'll go to the problem number 7 okay so solve the equation 6x power 4 minus 5x cube minus 38x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 if it is known that 1 by 3 is a solution so on seeing the equation so see now here uh, the coefficient is here 6 here also 6 and here you are having minus y here also minus y and you will have the middle term okay so it is a reciprocal equation of type 1 with even degree so we can divide it by x squared as we did in the uh, sixth the first subdivision in this way also you can proceed but here it is given 1 by 3 is a solution so one solution is given from that we can proceed also in both the way you can do it okay so first we have to check it is a reciprocal equation so for that i have substituted p of 1 by x Okay, already we have said it's a reciprocal equation of type 1. In another way also we can check whether it is a reciprocal. So, P of 1 by X. So, in the place of X, we have to substitute 1 by X. So, it is 6 by X power 4 minus 5 by X cube minus 38 divided by X squared minus 5 by X plus 6. Okay, you take the equation. And here you take lcm lcm is 6x power 4 so you will get 6 minus 5x minus 38x square minus 5x cube plus 6x power 4 you look at this this is the p of x what is p of x it is nothing but is equal to 0 so the numerator is 0 0 by x power 4 is 0 so it is a reciprocal equation oh, already we have said on equating on seeing the coefficients it is a reciprocal equation of type 1 with even degree okay so if it is a reciprocal equation you will have one result alpha is the root of that equation means 1 by alpha is also the root of the equation because it's a reciprocal equation here what is given that 1 by 3 is a solution so 3 is also the solution of p of x is equal to 0 alpha is the root means 1 by alpha is the root whose reciprocal is the root so therefore 1 by 3 is the solution of this polynomial because it is reciprocal equation so 3 is also the solution of p of x is equal to 0 here you are having two solutions one is x is equal to 1 by 3 and x is equal to 3 so therefore the factors are x minus 1 by 3 and x minus 3 so the factors and if you take the product of it so while you are taking the product it is x into x is x squared x into x is x squared x into minus 3 is minus 3x and minus 1 by 3 into x is minus x by 3 plus 1 okay so if we take lcm for these two terms it is minus 9x minus x by 3 so on the whole if you consider it is 3x squared minus 9x minus 3 minus x is minus 10x plus 3 okay so the product is this so here uh, the denominator is a constant so when you if you have the roots means uh, here you can take x is equal to 1 by 3 x equal to 1 by 3 x equal to 1 by 3 means it is 3x is equal to 1 so 3x minus 1 so you can leave the constant so you take uh, to find the remaining factor so what you have to do the whole equation has to be divided by the factor okay 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 okay so you have to take 
here um, 3x squared is here here you are having 6x power 4 so it has to be multiplied with 2x squared so 2x squared into 3x squared is 6x power 4 2x squared into minus 10x is minus 20x cube and 2x squared into 3 is 6x squared and if you change the sign it is getting cancelled so here minus 5x cube here you are having plus 20x cube that is 15x cube so here minus minus when you add it is 44x squared and drop the uh, minus 5x and here you are having 15x cube so therefore here you are having 3 so it has to be multiplied with 5x 5x into 3x squared is 15x cube 5x into minus 10x is minus 50x squared 5x into 3 is 15x and you have to change the sign these two getting cancelled minus 44 plus 50 so it is 6x squared and minus 5x minus 15x is minus 20x you drop 6 also okay so here you are having 6x squared here you are having 3x squared so it has to be multiplied with 2 2 into 3x squared is 6x squared 2 into minus 10x is minus 20x plus 2 into 3 is 6 if you change the sign everything is getting cancelled so the answer is 0 so you will get the factor okay so in the factor divided by 1 by 3 so in the 3 you now you can equate if 1 by 3 into this factor is equal to 0 so therefore you will get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 so you can in the constant uh, if it is equal to 0 it will vanish so therefore you can take this uh, the new the factor alone we can divide it so it's a quadratic equation in terms of x so the product is 4 2 twos are 4 and the addition of two numbers is 5 so we'll take the numbers 1 and 4 what is the coefficient of x squared that is 2 so when it is divided by 2 you will get 1 by 2 and 4 by 2 so 1 by 2 how you can write this factor 2x plus 1 and 4 by 2 can be written as x plus 2 is equal to 0 so therefore x is equal to minus 1 by 2 and x is equal to minus 2 so 1 by 3 it is given that 1 by 3 is the root so we, we have found it's a reciprocal equation so 3 is also the root and I'll, uh, using that we have found the remaining roots that is minus 1 by 2 minus 2 thank you students